A lot of shifts, of course, in the White House and uh, the cabinet, and that's what we're talking about right now. This cabinet shakeup coming at a critical time for U.S. foreign relations. Mike Pompeo, Trump's pick to replace Tillerson as the nation's chief diplomat, is going to be thrown right into the fire. He's got negotiations over North Korea's nuclear program, as well as he's got to figure out what to do with the Iran nuclear deal. For more on this, we turn to Fox News foreign policy analyst Kyron Skinner. Good morning. Good morning. You know, it's interesting because all of this does come at a time. Mike Pompeo is walking into two big issues. The, the, the calendar is tight to get the confirmation through. First, let's talk about the issue with North Korea. He's been very hawkish about North Korea. He seems to be more in line with the president that tough talk is more the way to go with Kim Jong-un. How do you see this playing out? Um, the president needs um, a partner in the national security leadership team um, that sees the North Korea problem the way that he does. And I think that was one of the reasons that uh, Rex Tillerson um, was asked to um, step down. Um, he wanted a different sequencing of um, dialogue with North Korea. The president's closer to dialogue than he's been in the past year, but he, he wanted the maximum st um, pressure strategy um, to take hold. That's something that Mike Pompeo has supported. So I believe that Pompeo, as Secretary of State, would provide the kind of substance and context to the instincts that the president has on going into a, you know, a summit meeting well, and they seem with to be more on the, um, the same, North Korean and, leader. And the president did say that, that we were always on the same wavelength, and I think that kind of makes sense with, with regards to the shift. I want you to, Mike Pompeo was actually just on Fox News Sunday. I want you to listen to what he said uh, with regards to negotiations. President Trump isn't doing this for theater. He's going to solve a problem. And so the location of the meeting will, will determine the exact timing of the meeting. Uh, the president and the team will figure out. Uh, but what's most important is what's discussed. Mm -hmm. uh, and the clarity and the strength and resolve of this president and this administration to achieve the outcome that Americans so desperately deserve. You, know, you, you hear him saying basically that this is not just some kind of like snap meeting that's going to you know, solve any issues. I thought that was interesting. Also, you know, it, with regards to Iran, Pompeo has been quoted in the past as saying that he, he really doesn't believe in the Iran nuclear deal. These are two major issues. A absolutely. And on the Iran issue, um, the president, again, has not had um, a senior member of the national security team to make a really strong case for pulling out of the Iranian nuclear deal. It doesn't mean that um, that will ultimately happen. But the others on, on the team, and they're, you know, they're excellent statesmen and policymakers, but they, you know, their priors push them in the direction of staying with the Iranian nuclear deal. The president needs credible arguments on all sides. And I believe that um, uh, Mike Pompeo will provide that um, for the president at the State Department. All right. Well, the confirmation process is going to need to be quick. It's going to be contentious. Uh, they've also got a lot of other appointments they need to fill. Kyron Skinner, we appreciate you getting up early with us this morning.